I want to, it's my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. I had this really long, beautiful sermon, and I went and talked to Terry, and he says, man, I don't need all that crap. So I'm just going to introduce the open carry preacher, Terry Holcomb. I'm going to start out by preaching. And this message is to Harry Reid. Thou shalt not covet Texas land. I am a pastor. They call me the open carry preacher. And I want the landowners to know that uh, you do have pastors that are praying for you. You have churches that are praying for you. And part of the problem in this country is the pastors that hide behind their 501c3s and hide behind their pulpits to protect their tithe base instead of just getting out and doing what's right and doing the truth. And uh, I'm not going to apologize for them, but I'm going to be here and I'm going to stand with the landowners of Texas. And so I want the landowners to know that you are not here alone. You do not stand alone. It's a sad thing that most of the landowners who are at risk today, who are, by the way, afraid and, sh and should rightfully be so, because they felt like they are alone. They felt like that our own state government's not telling them anything or going to help them. Isn't it, isn't it a sad day when we are thoroughly afraid of our government? It's a sad day, but we're going to send a message today that we are not afraid. And we're going to stand with the Texas landowners. And today we're here to send some very clear messages. And another message that I want to send Mr. Harry Reid is this ain't Nevada. Yeah. Hoorah! There's a reason why they say don't mess with Texas. We won't need hundreds of people coming across state borders. We will come together as a state and we will stand against an overreaching unconstitutional federal government. The second message that we wanted to make sure got out today, and I'm asking politely, all of us today are here with a very polite directive. Do not trespass on Texas land. Yeah. If you do approach on Texas land, we will treat you just as you are a trespasser. The, this land is owned by Texans. This land has been deeded since the 1800s. They've been paying taxes on this. I, I, I just got some very disturbing news that none of the land commissioners from this county are here. This county might want to think about getting some new ones. Because if your land commissioners aren't going to stand with you, then who will? Please do not approach on Texas land, BLM. You are not welcome here. And by the way, in case there's any confusion, the landowners own from the vegetation line this way not hard. Another message that I want to give to the BLM this time is it would be a very bad idea to bring an armed force to Texas and draw down on Texas citizens. Yeah! We will consider that a threat against our lives, against our freedom, against our families, and against our property. There's a quote that I want to read by George Washington. I keep it on my Facebook page all the time so I forever see it before me. And I want to read it to you. The time is near at hand which must determine whether Americans are to be free men or slaves. There is a myth out there there's a myth out there that just because the federal government says so, makes it so. There's a myth out there that just because the Supreme Court rules it so, it makes it so. But our forefathers knew better. Our forefathers knew that man was fallible. Our forefathers knew that a government could turn on its people and it become tyranny. Our forefathers knew that a Supreme Court could rule and make law an unconstitutional act. And it's why Thomas Madison said that any law 
that is passed, whether it be legislatively or judicially, it is the state's burden to nullify such act. I will be very glad when Texas starts acting like a state and start leading. We have nullification acts that are being passed all across this country, and quite frankly, I'm embarrassed that Texas isn't leading that effort. But if our elected officials won't do it, trust me, pay close attention, because we, the people, certainly will. Yeah. A lot of people have given me a lot of grief because I'm a pastor and they say a pastor's not supposed to be doing this. Well, you might want to go study your history because the leaders of the 1776 revolution was the Black Robe Brigade. And these were the ministers from church to church, from border to border that said, we will stand and we will fight for truth, for liberty, and for freedom. And folks, I can tell you it has cost me much over the years to stand in this fight. But I can also tell you that by seeing each and every one of you out here today, you have given me more hope. You have given me the fire to relight the kindling flame that begins to dwindle with being tired and worn out and constantly attacked. Folks, we need to join together and we need to send a clear message to the BLM that they will never take Texas land. Thank you very much. God bless you and God bless Texas. I don't know if that was the Holy Ghost or the rain that got in my eye. You know, we, we're, we're up here listening to a lot of people talk and the reality is that the time for talking is really past. And I do appreciate everybody coming up here and listening to the great speakers that, that have taken time out of their, their busy schedules and, and the various things that they do to, to come up and, and hopefully say some things that inspire you that when you leave here, that you do something. That we take this event and we recognize that something has to be done, not necessarily said. And so we tried to pick people that are actually doing things that when they come up here and they talk to you, it's not just words coming out of their mouths. Which is kind of why I'm glad Abbott and, and Davis didn't come up here, because that's what it would have been, is just words, in my opinion. <laughs>